هناك بعض الاخوه يتساءلون يسالون هل يجوز التقليد او الاخذ بغير علم والتعصب لشخص من الاشخاص لانه فلان من الناس او لانه الشيخ الفلاني واحد المشايخ او لانه مكث في الدعوه كثيرا او انه من المملكه او من اليمن او من الهندي او السندي او من مصر او غيرها من البلدان هل هذا من فهم السلف؟ افيدونا بارك الله فيكم. الحمد لله. اهل السنه لا يتعصبون لاحد بعد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. بل يدورون مع الحق حيث دار ومع السنه حيث دار ويتبع الدليل. يقول الامام الاوزاعي رحمه الله عليه ندور مع السنه دار كما في اصول اعتقاد اهل السنه. القاعده المعروفه عند السلف كل احد يؤخذ من قوله ويترك الا صاحب ذاك القبر صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم. فاهل السنه انما يعظمون الادله ويعظمون النصوص وياخذون من قول العالم كان موافقا للحق. وموافقا للسنه وموافقا لمنهج السلف. فالميزان عندهم هو الحق. اذا حصل خلاف ننظر من على الحق ومن على الباطل فمن كان على الحق وجب نصره وتحييده فالمساله مساله حق وباطل. حق ينصر ويؤيد وباطل يزهق ويبين اخوانه فهكذا هو الواجب عليه ننصر الحق وان ننصر اهله ان ننصر من نصر الحق ونصر السنه ولا نتعصب لشخص بعينه بل ندور مع الحق ومع الدليل الشرعي ومع من ينصر المنهج الحقيقي والعمل لا يتعصب احد في الباطل فنحن في زمن كثر فيه من يتعصب لنفسه او يتعصب لفلان لا نحن نستطيع ان نقف موقف المتبع للحق والذي ينصر المحق الضعراء المحق يعني تبين انه هو المحق وهو المبطل ننصر المحق ونحذر المبطل كائنا من كان فان الحق اكبر من كل احد والسنه اكبر من كل احد والمنهج عندنا هو الذي يتبع والله المستعان first question in which we posed to the Shaykh, may Allah preserve him, is we asked him, as people are inquiring about and are asking, that is it permissible to blindly follow or follow an individual's fatwa remarks, his comments pertaining to a certain matter, blindly, without knowing the information pertaining to it, without having any knowledge of that in which is being asked about. Either taking blindly or following an individual blindly, whether he be, whoever he may be, a student of knowledge or a scholar from the scholars, because maybe he had been upon the da'wah for a long period of time, or he is so-and-so of a person who is from a certain land, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, or he's from Yemen, or he is from India, or he is from Egypt, or he is from any part of the world. And just for that fact, we are to follow him and to take his advice blindly. And what is the understanding of the Salaf and the righteous persons pertaining to this matter? The Shaykh Hafizullah replied and answered with the first response. He said after praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asking Allah's prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon his beloved Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, it is not upon the people of Ahlul Sunnah, the people who follow the Sunnah, that they should follow any individual blindly, ganging up with him, or grouping along with him, following him, or following anyone, except the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the only individual that we follow blindly and that we can follow him without knowing of the reason why. However, the people of the Sunnah, they revolve themselves around the truth. Revolve themselves wherever the truth turns. And wherever the truth turns, they turn with it. As it was mentioned by Imam al-Awza'i that he says, 
wherever the truth turns, turn with it. And so, as it was stated by Imam Malik, he says that everyone is taken from him and rejected from him, except the person who his grave belongs to, meaning the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So everybody is taken from him and is rejected and not taken from him and not accepted, except for the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The people of the Sunnah, they take what is the truth. And if there was a difference, and if people deferred, then we go back to what is the truth? And with who the truth lies, whoever it may be. And it is incumbent upon every Muslim, the Ahl Sunnah, the ones who attribute themselves to the Salaf al Salih and the righteous predecessors, that they should give victory to the truth. They should hold on to that truth. Uphold that truth. And whoever had upholded that truth or upheld that truth and who revolved himself around it, who has the dalil and the evidence and the proof, that is who and what we follow. And we are in a time in which a lot of people have blindly followed and have ganged up and have grouped up with a lot of people of a lot of various people. And this is very unfortunate for an individual, the true Muslim, should only gang up and follow the truth and the dalil and the proofs and evidences. And that is what the Shaykh Hafizullah concluded with in his first answer to the first question or with his answer to the first question.